All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Torno here. In this video, I want to talk about how to build an online business from scratch. In fact, I want to give you my nine rules on how to build a successful online business. Over the past couple of years, I've been building multiple six and seven figure a year online businesses. So I know a thing or two about that. Today, we're in Suomenlinna. Mm -hmm. Nice, in Finland here. And I thought I'd just get my iPhone out and shoot a couple of videos about that. So anyways, rule number one, Pick something that is easy to start and relatively low risk. So if you want to build your own online business, you've never done anything like that before and you think like, oh, but isn't building a business quite risky? No, not necessarily if you know how to do it right. So first and foremost, build something where you don't need any initial investment to start. Build something that is relatively low risk. And we're going to talk more about that, what exactly that is. Which brings me to point number two, it's inevitably connected to that. Do not sell a physical product because if you try to focus on selling physical products, you have to source these products from somewhere. So you're going to end up sitting on a lot of costs. And yeah, obviously nobody will want to do that, especially if you don't have any experience in building. Which brings me to rule number three, do not build a website or focus on creating a lot of content on YouTube or Instagram or anywhere. There's a time and place for these things, this is usually once you have a proof of concept, once you're making your four to five figures a month, then you can think about creating a little bit of content. But don't start with that. The problem here is a lot of people try to start with their website, but what do you really want to put on that website? Do you know your audience already? Do you know how what 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 is something that really resonates with them? What sells well? No, you don't. So forget about these things and they're absolutely not necessary in order to make your first, first four to five figures a month. They're just a waste of time. A time and place for that later, but not right now. So let's talk about what you should be focusing on. And that's rule number four, focus on selling your expertise. Because earlier I said, you don't want to focus on anything that costs you a lot of money. You want to focus on something that is quite risk-free and your expertise actually falls into that because your expertise doesn't cost anything. Now, when I'm saying focus on your expertise, you might think, oh, geez, do I need a certificate? Do I need to have studied something? No, not necessarily. Obviously it depends on the niche, but in most niches, whether that's B2C or B2B, you do not have to worry about a certificate. In fact, most people who are potentially your clients don't even care about that. So ask yourself, what are you good at? Where are you better than the average person? Maybe you have a skill where you've already helped your friends for free or people come to you for advice in that regard. This could be, you know, maybe you're really good at fitness. Maybe you're a very social person. Maybe you've overcome, you know, a lot of social issues. What problems have you overcome? Maybe you've overcome divorce, breakup, whichever it is. But also maybe you have acquired a specific set of skills in your own job. Maybe you're good at social media. Maybe you're good at sales at marketing, whichever it is it is there's people out there or businesses out there who could in fact use your help so again you do not need to worry about a certificate or anything like that and of course you don't need to be a 10 out of 10 expert in that but as long as you're two to three steps ahead of the average person you can start with that business now of course you don't you're not supposed to stay at that level where you're just two to three steps ahead but ultimately it's enough for you to get the foot in the door to acquire first test clients and then learn as you're already working with clients, as you're already getting paid. And that is literally how I started my very first business, the dating advice and personal development business way back in 2013, 2014. I think actually even a little earlier than that. I was not perfect at it, but I started coaching, started helping people first for free, then for little money, then for more and so on and so forth. And a couple of years later, back in 2016, I made my very first seven figures from that. So again, it's all about acquiring experience as you're already helping people with that. And that's the beautiful part. Which brings me to rule number, I think this must be rule number five now, focus on a niche market. So to stay, for example, with the fitness example that I've mentioned earlier, a lot of people say, oh, I'm really good at fitness, I can help anybody. But then you're kind of becoming a jack of all trades. And when you do that, people will have trouble with really thinking that you can help them. So what you wanna do is you wanna focus on a small subset of people. So instead of just helping everybody to get fit, you can help, for example, you know, skinny guys to acquire more muscle or you're helping middle-aged women to lose weight. So you're focusing on a smaller segment of the market. And again, if you think like, oh, I'm sure this doesn't work. This sounds too good to be true. I'm gonna link our, um, our reviews channel here. I'm gonna have have it edited in here. Feel free to check out our reviews. Feel free to check out the interviews that we've had with our clients. Many of them have been absolute beginners. They've never sold anything before. 
but now they're making four to five figures a month. So it absolutely works, obviously, if you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to implement all the steps, and of course, if you're willing to stay consistently at it. So that's also very, very key. And that in turn brings me to rule number six, I think, if I'm counting correctly. And that is do not try to reinvent the wheel. A lot of people say, oh, I gotta have a business idea that revolutionizes everything. And oh, but there's already so-and-so who already shoots free YouTube videos. So why would pay people pay me and so on and so forth? Do not worry about that. Competition is actually a very, very good sign because it means there is already people who are paying money for it. The market is already ready for it. People understand the value of it, of a coaching or service providing uh, a business in that niche. So it's actually a very, very good sign. And no, you do not need to reinvent the wheel. Maybe if you wanna completely revolutionize the market, yeah, maybe then. But if you just want to have your own freedom business as an online coach or consultant, then that absolutely works. So you do not have to worry about that. All right, so we found this lovely little cafe here. And that brings me to point number seven, and that is get to know your target audience. So what I've said before in regards to not building a website, not creating social media and so on and so forth, is because of exactly that point. You want to know who are the people that you can help? Where are they? What is their inner most wanted end result that they want? What have they tried and where have they failed before and so on and so forth? And the better you can buy, basically recreate their inner monologue, the more they will think and they will know, hey, this person is a person that can really help me with my problem. So that's point number seven, which brings me to point number eight, learn basic level sales, right? If you want to be able to generate an income, you need to learn basic level sales. And of course, no, this has nothing to do with high pressure sales tactics or anything like that. It's literally just understanding uh, basics of who your client is and how you can deliver your end results to your clients. And then of course, how to make them, uh, how to help them make a decision so they actually want to work with you. And that is really the most basic of basics. And that brings me to the very last point, the last rule, and that is automate your business. So once you're making four to five figures a month, you can then just automate the processes. You can scale this up if you really want to, depending on how far you want to scale scale it up uh, up to six figures a month with that. This works in most niches. You'd be surprised in how many niches you can get to that kind of level. And yeah, ultimately, if you want to know how exactly these points would look like in your specific situation, what expertise you might have, where your strengths are, even if you've never done this before, and go ahead and book a free consultation call with us. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. You click on that, brings you to the page. There's some more info on that page also. And there you can fill out the application form to book a free consulting call, either with me directly or with an expert from my team. And then we'll look at your situation, we'll look at your strengths, we'll look at where you wanna go and we'll tell you the exact steps that you need to take. Of course, it's very, very customized. That's why you will be talking to an expert in that field, someone from my team directly. So uh, we're gonna also edit in a couple of our testimonials here from people that have been working with us just so you really see that it can actually work thank you very much and uh, yeah i'll be uh, i'm very excited to be speaking to you very very soon and uh yeah thank you very much and uh bye bye to this day i closed 7k i've sold eighteen thousand two hundred dollars worth of uh clients in us dollars i crashed recently 15k we closed thirty three thousand dollars i made seventy thousand euro in total by teaching people german i've made six grand i closed approximately 11k so far i've managed to make 6k in sales i cracked 8k i have closed so far 7.1k eleven thousand dollars i've closed so far i've been able to generate five thousand dollars so far i've closed around 4k us dollars the total dollar amount that came into my bank account is five thousand us dollars